Hello, welcome to the shop. I am continuing to experiment with flutes. I'm not very good at making them yet, or playing them for that matter, but that's okay. I made an overtone flute. There are no holes on this other than where you blow and the little blade here that makes the sound. So the way that you change the pitch of notes is with how hard you blow into it. And it has the same relative pitches that you would be used to hearing in brass instruments, like a trumpet, a trombone, a tuba, that sort of thing. It's a very weak sound. So you could play the same songs on this that you could play on a bugle. Well, if I was any good and if the instrument played any good. So all this is, is a piece of flexible hot water pipe. Just the plastic stuff. And uh, I cut a slot in it. That slot goes all the way to the end. And I made a little dowel on my lathe. If you don't have a lathe, you could get a dowel that's the right size, probably at the hardware store to fit perfectly inside of there. And then I cut a little chunk of the pipe off and I split it and I slid it on. And that makes the overtone flute. Originally when I did it, I had the entire length of pipe. It was a lot, <laughs> a lot longer. I think this was probably a three foot long piece. And it was a lot quieter, but I got a lot more overtones out of it. Uh, one of the ways that you get overtones on a flute, according to what I'm reading, is having a very big ratio between the inside diameter and the length of it. Now, I haven't worked out what the uh, what the relationship is, what the ratio is on this, but uh, it's about 11 and a half millimeters on the inside and it's about um, 67 centimeters long, 67 and a half centimeters long. That's a very big ratio. Uh, usually these things don't like ratios nearly that big. So. Yeah, anyway, this was my experiment. So, hope you found that interesting and you could make one of your own if you wanted to. All you need is a chunk of the pipe, a dowel to go in there. I use an X-Acto knife to cut the uh, the notch out and uh, also an X-Acto knife to split this off here. And uh, a file to sharpen the, the blade. You could probably sharpen the blade with an X-Acto knife though too. And I made it about a 45 degree angle, so. All right. Have a great evening.